to Nola Pubaka. Was the bowler Pubaka on strike? Straight away a bit of movement for Chaminda Was. There again you saw the ball pitching on middle and leg. Well that's a good shot. Magnificently played, racing away to the fence. Tendulkar off the mark with a blustering fall. This crowd has come alive. Well, just what the crowd needed at this stage. Short and wide from Pushma Kumara and Tendulka right up on that back foot, smashing it through the covers. Great start for India that. Prabhaka sneaks and it goes wide at first slip and it's four runs. Went for the cut shot, just moved away on him, picked up the edge. If there had been a second slip in there, it may have gone to hand, but it didn't and four runs. Slightly short, Prabhaka holding out his back, just wide of first slip. Lovely cut, right over the top of it. Should be four runs, beautifully played by Tendulkar. That was a difficult one to play because Vasa was wide, it had a fair amount of bounce in it, but Tendulkar just rolling the wrists. Was on one of those rare occasions going astray, Tendulkar releasing his hands, seizing the opportunity, and guiding it towards the point boundary for four. Pull shot, four runs. Too short. Push back Amara, paying the penalty, digging it in short and accommodated by Tendulkar. Great shot there by Tendulkar. Push back Amara going far too short for the master and he whacks it over mid-wicket. Goes for the drive in the air, should be out, and is out. Caught at mid-off by Gura Singer. A little frustrated, good bowling by Pushpak Amara. A good tight over, and lured him into the false shot. Pushpak Amara keeping the ball up to Prabhaka, paying rich dividends. Prabhaka playing a little too early, straight to Gura Singer at mid-off. So that's a big break for Sri Lanka. 27 for 1. Sanjay Mandraker, the new batsman for India, coming in in the number 3 position. Slower ball, well played, into the gap it goes, racing away towards the fence, that's a lovely time shot, it'll go all the way. Well, this is a very quick outfield, Sonny. This is the kind of boundary I like, you must make the fielder chase the ball right up to the boundary ropes. Get him tired as well. There's no point crashing the ball and the fielders are just standing and having the spectators or somebody at the boundary rope throwing the ball back to you. This is it. Chase the ball, man. Chase it. That's the kind of boundary I like. In the air and wide of the fields, but into the gap. That's going down to the fence for 4 2. Well, it was uppishly played. Very nicely timed. He managed to get it away into the gap and it's gone for 4. He does play that shot well. He doesn't play that shot uppishly as well. But this time he has managed to find the gap. A little bit of the bottom hand. He knew where the fielders were. Oh, he's hit that one and it's gone very square. That's well played and it's into the fence for four. Well, that's interesting. First ball of a new spell. What does he do? Smashes him for four. Well, that's Sanjay Manjaka's way of saying good morning uh, to Dharmasena. Well, that's beautifully played again by Manjaka, and this could go all the way, and it does. Over mid wicket for six. A super shot there by Manjaka, hitting it on the half volley, hiking it over the mid wicket boundary for six. Well, he played a similar shot to the first ball, Dharmasena ball, of the previous over, and here again. He's picked it up beautifully. He's got the timing right and it's gone into the crowd for six runs. Oh, that's beautifully bowled by Murli Duran. That beats everybody. Pitched outside the off stump. He got a little bit of turn. But missed the stumps. Beat the keeper as well. Four buys. That was a super, super delivery by Murli Duran. That time bowling his usual orthodox off spin pitching outside the off stump making the batsman go for the drive and just going through the gate narrowly missing leg stump 
And his reply down the track to the pitch of the ball, and the ball goes soaring over mid on for a six. What a way to end the over 87 for one India. Swept again, this could be out. A loud appeal, and up goes the finger. So Sanjay Manjrekar trying that sweep once too often, gets the top edge and a simple catch to Kalu Vitarana. So India lose their second wicket just when they didn't want to, 93 for two. Dalmasena being swept by Manjrekar, the ball hitting the back of his bat and uh, Kalu Vitarana completing a fairly easy catch. Sri Lanka certainly must be relieved to see the back of Manjrekar. So Manjrekar falling against the run of play, brings in the Indian captain. Played beautifully, fine on the onside, and this might go all the way to the fence. Gurusena giving chase and just unable to stop the ball. That was really beautifully played by Tendulkar, bringing up the 100 for India. Murli Daran certainly not prepared to give Tendulkar a very flat delivery and perfectly glanced by Tendulkar, just getting a little bit of bat. Dharamasena to continue. That's nicely played and good running. He's comfortably home. Just a little open face shot there, nudging it just wide of the field. And he's calling again for uh, verification of whether this was out or not. He's called for them. He's not taking any chances. Umpire Mitch Lee, that's for sure. <laughs> that's right, Tony, but I don't think he needed to call that for the third umpire at all because the batsman was Tendulkar was already home. He could see from the naked eye. In any case, he wants to be sure. And he wanted to probably check it out whether the batsman had grounded the bat or not. And could be quite close. It could be close. Oh, I think. This is unbelievable. In fact, I think he's got to be out. Let's have a look. He's short. The bail's off. That's gone. Well, I'm, I must apologize to umpire Mitchley. That look is absolutely incredible. Well, I don't believe it. They've given him in. I do not believe it. The bail's off. Have they hit the wrong button? Oh, did he knock the bales off with his gloves? For me, that is out. Down the wicket he goes, he's hit that high, it's gone all the way, what a hit, way over the top, a huge six. The little master himself has smashed that one way over the top of the head of the wide mid on fieldsman. He simply watched it go sailing over his head. That's the ball that Sachin was waiting for, a little bit of air and a bit of width to hit it over the straight field. And as you saw, he just did the same. Beautiful footwork, just coming out and just timing it over a long arm for a huge six. Oh, he smashed that one away, and that's beautifully played. Mohamed Azraddin, the captain, taking the initiative here. Lovely shot, straight down the ground, beautiful hot outfield, all the way for four. That's all about timing. Smashed it down the ground. Will it bisect the fieldsman? It will. Beautifully played by Sachin Tendulkar. Placed to perfection. Was oh, that a go at that one? It's gone miles. This is a huge six. 30 rows back. Muscles himself. Whack. It's going all the way down. It's going to be four. He's at six. Just over the line. I reckon that's six. Wide of the fieldsman. Dara Messina desperately trying to get there, couldn't quite make it. Way down the leg side, four, he got some bat on that one. Four runs, a rank full toss, a little edge, four wides. Outside off stump, it's in the air, Dara Messina's underneath it, it's going to go for six, it's over. Dara Messina hovering under another big one. It just kept going and going and going. Whipped that one away, another four. A magnificent shot. Well, that is great, great batting. Six, two, four, six, four. Well, who said cricket was all about brute force? Down the leg side, he's hit that one, and that's going one bounce for four. That's well played by Mohamed Azrud and he loves him on leg stump. Down the wicket he comes again, whack, that one's going down towards Wideman on four again. What a magnificent shot. 
these two are playing great cricket. Wabal well, dropped. He's picking it up. If he has a go, he's got him. Yes, he's got him. That's got to be our 10 Dukkar out run out. Well done to Mundavas. That was a magnificent bit of fielding and it brought to an end one of the great knocks in one day cricket. Sashin Tendulkar, take a bow. India finishing with an impressive 271 for three. Sachin Tendulkar continuing the good form from the last match in Mumbai, scoring 137 in even time with eight fours and five sixes. Mohamed Azaruddin getting 72 and Sanjay Manjekar 32. India felt they could have got a few more runs at the end, but it looked like 271 would be enough. The Sri Lankan bowling, not much to write home about, just a one wicket each to Pushpa Kumara and Kumara Dharmasena. Watchfully played. They'll be trying to get their, through their overs oh. as quickly as they possibly can. Oh, that one short, that's four. Well, they've got the uh, fine leg up. They've decided to have one square on the boundary, and that's very well played by Kalu with Orana. One ball, one four. Well, that's short, and it's on the leg stump, so it was inviting punishment. That's another four. That's gone down to the fence, so it hasn't taken him long. A couple of boundaries in uh, three balls. Well, it's again pitched on the leg stump, and the fielder is in the circle. Well, he's got that one over the infield. That'll be four as well. That was not really a bad delivery. It was just outside off stump, and he nonchalantly blasted it away over mid-wicket. Srinath would have uh, expected most batsmen to play it down towards the covers, because the ball was moving away, but uh, Kalu Vitharna has decided he's picked the spot. There is that vacant spot there and he's just waited for it to come on and played it for a boundary. Well, he's got that one away and that's 4-2. It's just wide of the fuseman at point. It was in the air. Out went the outstretched arm and it didn't quite get to him. The thing he does is hit it so hard. So you've got to be really quick. 20 without loss. Oh, that's gone miles. Way over the top. Will it go for six? I don't believe it just short well he's gone down the wicket hit it inside out and it's gone way over the top now I think that probably was just short of the line down there let's have another look we may be able to pick it up the, uh, the uh, umpires aren't quite sure just short Sonny I think it just bounced a little bit uh, before it hit uh, those billboards he's got that one over me oh this is unbelievable that's six a magnificent shot from just outside off stump take that India indeed this is tremendous batting by the Sri Lankans and Prabhakar is bearing the brunt of the Sri Lankan uh, fury over well, he goes again what a shot one bounce and into the fence well, Prabhaka does not know what to do. He's tried over the wicket, he's gone round the wicket, and those Sri Lankan flags are flying. Have a look at him. And that's 4-2. Just outside off stump, a beautifully played cut shot, and that's gone to the boundary. This could be over in 15 overs. Johnny, you're being a little optimistic over there. But just when uh, people were bound to think that Sanat Jaisuri is all uh, brawn, he showed that he has a cricketing brain too. And that's 4-2, that's well played. That's an attempt at Yorker. It was a good delivery, managed to get it away for four. Don't get the press, Sunny. Sri Lanka, 42 without loss. Whacked it away, that'll be four as well. Down to the fence she goes, this is unbelievable. This has got to be some sort of record. You still with us, Sonny? Oh, absolutely, I'm enjoying this because this is tremendous stuff. It doesn't matter which side it's coming from. I think this is great stuff. This is tremendously enjoyable to watch as a spectator. And uh, I'm just trying to 
put myself in Azaruddin's position and frankly I don't have an answer. He is an entertaining package. And that's 4-2. He's got that away beautifully. That's magnificently played. That is a superb shot. Just a little bit short. Closed the face of the bat. Got it away fine for yet another four. And if that's the kind of maturity that Kaluvitharma is going to show, then the Indians sure are in trouble. Because we've seen earlier on that once he gets going, he just doesn't want to stop. But this is a very calculated and deliberately played shot. Got him! What a catch! What a catch! Brilliantly taken. That ball was inches off the ground. The Indians are celebrating and boy, they know that they needed that one. That was a blistering cover drive. Pumbley close on the offside. A tall man stayed down, pulled off a gem. But this is the danger man. They wanted him. And the Indians are going to try everything to try and get him. And they've just done that. Kaluvitan after a blazing knock of 26. Gone, Sri Lanka 53. Sangha Gurusinga. Out there to replace Ramesh Kaluvitharana. Two left-handers out there now. Oh, and that's gone for four as well. That's beautiful timing. He really has just caressed that one through the offside field. Look at the back lift and look at the follow-through. There's no follow-through at all off the bat. He's just used the natural in-swing that Srinath bowls. Oh, he's had a flay at that one and it's gone way down towards third man again. He doesn't miss those, not too often anyhow. Got enough bat on that one to beat third man and another four. Jasuri had decided even before the ball had been bowled that he was going to go and have a thrash at it. Sometimes when you play predetermined shots in any grade of cricket, one day or test cricket, it can get you into trouble. Oh, he's got that away. That'll be six over the top. Go and fetch that one. Just a little flick of the wrists. It just kept going and going again. Way over the top of uh, the uh, heads of the man down on the boundary there. Another six to Sri Lanka. 71 for one. Looking in the air. It threw the cover four runs. Good shot. 50 for Jayasuriya. Great innings. What a fine knock by Jayasuriya. Superbly timed boundary. Getting behind it. Taking the room right into the gap bisecting the fielders pulled away by Gurusinga that's four runs or six in fact had enough carry on it beautiful timing close to the stumps and he's blazed that one through the offside field go and fetch that that really was a blistering drive on the up and no one was going to stop that unless they wanted to break their fingers but I don't think there has been any shot hit harder than this. Chair Surya has given himself room and smashed it literally through the covers. That really went like a tracer bullet to the fence. Oh, he's got it away. Fine for four. Another four. All he had to do was help it on its way. He didn't exactly hit it in the meat of the bat, but the fine legs up and anything in that direction is going to go for four. The moment Salil Ankola's arm goes up, he's moved inside his stumps there. He knows the fine leg is up and just helped the ball on the way to the fence. Clever cricket there by Jayasuriya. Oh, he's got that away fired and that'll probably run away to the fence as well. That is a little paddle shot and uh, then off the bottom edge for four. A clever cricket by Sri Lanka. Gurusenge using his head here. He's using the pace of the ball from Kumble. Just paddling it behind square. Four runs the moment it left the bat. Man at fine leg is up in the circle. Oh, and that's four as well. That's a bad delivery from Kumblay. No point in complaining about that one. He wanted the field a little bit finer, but that wasn't a very good delivery. Gave the batsman room, and he clipped it away for four. 117 for one. And he's chipped that one away. It's in the air, bouncing the way down towards steep square leg. Just one bounce to the fielder. They'll come back for the second. This will be close. Oh, yes, I think it's gone. I think he's gone. My immediate reaction was that time round, Gura Singer wasn't there. Well, what do you think, Robbie? I think this time he might well be on his way home. He was a little complacent when coming back for that second run. He only accelerated towards the end. 
Prasad picking up the ball and throwing it in one action and Kumble removing the bales with Guru Singh a well out. There's a buzz in New Delhi. Aravinda de Silva has arrived at the crease. Sri Lanka have lost another wicket. 129 for two. That's nicely cut away. That may go for four. This outfield's quick. It's screaming away to the fence and he's got a foot into it but it's got into the rope. That's a good effort down there. The ball's just run into the rope for four. Nice timing again. Goes for the big one down the ground. It's in the air. And he hangs on to it. Jaya Surya is out. Caught halfway to the boundary by Pravaka. It hasn't been a great game for Pravaka so far, but that was an important catch for India. So that was a big wicket for India. The dismissal of Jaya Surya. Kumble, a little bit of air. Jaya Surya going for the big one. Skying it very, very high up in the air. Prabhaka, eyes well on the ball and catching it to a nicety. 137 for three. Down, he's on, stumped. West shot from Aravinda to Silva. Great captaincy from Mohammed Azraddin and a beautiful take by the wicketkeeper. Brilliant strategy by the Indians. Putting pressure on Aravinda de Silva with the slip and the short leg. De Silva going for the big one of rash shot and Mungia doing the rest. 141 for four. That's short. He's got that one away. This may well bounce away for four. Didn't quite middle it, but the outfield is very quick as we've repeatedly said. Anything you can get into their gaps is likely to be four. What a finish this is going to be. that's been played away and into the fence it goes just for a second the way the fieldsman went down there I thought he's trying to get that away fine and that's beautifully played that's a magnificent sweep shot he had a look down towards the fieldsman and decided to play the shot fine you don't get many better sweep shots than this one straight down the ground lovely shot that's all the way for right off the meat of the bat again the great thing about this young man is he plays them square of the wicket well and he also drives well when the opportunity arises. Oh, it's in the air. This could be out of staying up there. It'll be short. No, oh, he's dropped it. Well, he came too far. And Kohler came charging in. It was up for so long. That is a dreadful shot. Nice drive. Beautiful shot. That's four runs. Tala Karatna right to the pitch of the ball and that is probably the most convincing shot we've seen in some overs goes for the drive lovely shot good timing as Sonny mentioned in the previous over that is a bread and butter shot for Tala Karatna hit down the ground a big wind up and that should be four runs Lovely shot from Tyler Karatna. Played some nice drives in the last few overs and applauded by his captain. Beautifully struck. A little bit in the air. Oh, desperate fielding for four runs. Don't get run out now. Oh, the deflection even going the way of Sri Lanka. And this could be it as they come back for the second run. And that's the ball game. Tremendous win by Sri Lanka. The flags are hoisted hot, high out in the in that Sri Lankan area. And a very good win. Sri Lanka in reply capitalizing on a rollicking start from Sana Jaisuriya and Ramesh Kalu with Arana. Jaisuriya finishing with 79 of 76 deliveries. Rana Tunga and Hashan Tilakratne finishing things off for Sri Lanka to win with an over and two deliveries to spare 272 for four Anil Kumble bowled well for his two wickets and just the one for Venkatesh Prasad but the early damage done to Manoj Prabhakar was something the Indians could never recover from So India finishing 271 for three, a top score of 137 to Sachin Tendulkar, wicket apiece to Pushpa Kumara and Kumara Dharmasena. 
Sri Lanka in reply thanks to Sanaj Jayasuriya 79 and an unbeaten 70 from Hashim Tilakratne finishing with 272 for 4. A win by 6 wickets and a possible place in the quarter-final in Faisalabad against England beckoned for Sri Lanka.